Hey guys, Stolas there here, coming to you with a new video, first one in two years, it's been a while. Um, actually here with a video that I've been wanting to get out for quite a few years now. Uh, it's my setup video, um, it's actually a um, do-it-yourself gaming desk. Uh, it's the desk that I built for myself back home. It costs about uh, $300 probably to put together and it's a pretty big desk and uh, you'll see it, you'll like it. Um, but I thought it was a great option, especially compared to some of those particle board desks, things like that. It's a higher quality. Um, I got to customize it the way I wanted, and uh, it cost about the same anyways, so uh, I know this one will last me a couple years. Unfortunately, um, I haven't put out videos because I'm here at school now. Um, I moved from Louisiana to New York, where I'm uh, at West Point right now, um, so I can't put out that many videos. Uh, I don't even know if I'll start, but I wanted to get this video out. You know, it's a cool thing, and uh, I think a lot of people might want to try to do the same thing. So uh, we'll go ahead and start, uh, start talking about the setup. Um, you know, first things first, uh, you'll want to design basically the desk. Um, and you'll want to do that using a 3D rendering program. Uh, as you can see here, I chose uh, to use Roblox. It's a free uh, like online building game. I used to play it when I was a kid. Um, but you can make some pretty cool 3D models with it. So I use Roblox. There's a whole other video dedicated to just that. You can see it. Um, just click the link in the uh, video right now if you'd like to. But I designed this desk on Roblox, kind of got a feel for it, and then was able to uh, take that image that I had in my head and move it to uh, basically reality. Um, got some wood and figured it out. So uh, another thing that you'll want to do right off the bat is get measurements, right? So you'll need to set out where you want to put the desk. Um, and then I used painter's tape, that blue tape that you can get real cheap. Uh, it comes up real easy. Put it down on my carpet um, and got real precise measurements using obviously you know a measuring tape, um, whatever you've got on hand. You don't need anything specific. Um, write all those measurements down: length, width, height, all that good stuff. Um, the height's a little difficult. Um, I'm a bit of a shorter guy, so I knew that uh, you know I sat at a couple desks and actually measured how high I'd want them. Um, but anyways, got a height, uh, all that good stuff. Okay. Um, obviously, mine was a corner desk, but I didn't want just an L shape because then you're like snug into that weird corner and I don't like that so I wanted a nice like you know um, like elbow bracket basically but obviously giant um, another thing I knew I'd want was a rollout like um, platform where I could put my keyboard and mouse I think it looks cleaner and uh, that way I could have the desk higher um, so that the screens and monitors were more eye level with me but I didn't have to have my hands like way up here um, so I had that rollout desk it was a pretty good size I might have made it made it bigger if I could do this twice um, but still pretty good. It felt fit a full-size Razer mechanical keyboard plus um, a mat for uh, Razer Naga. Um, anyways, had that so we could roll out, roll back in. Um, and then uh, moving on from there, we had, let's see, um, you get your wood, right? So uh, it's probably an obvious step. I just am like watching the video as I record this. So anyways, um, I use plywood, 2x4s. Um, just real basic wood that I got at the local Home Depot. Um, I try to stay inexpensive with it. Um, try not to make things too expensive. Um, but I got nice quality wood. Because like I said, I didn't want to use that particle board. Particle board is an option. Just be aware that it's hard to cut sometimes um, with like table saws, things like that. Because the table saws are real um, aggressive. And uh, it'll, you know, it can break apart that particle board pretty easily. So plywood is a pretty safe bet. The only thing with plywood is it doesn't give you a great look. I really wanted that like real authentic um, woodwork feel to it. So it's not the prettiest desk, but you can make it uh, with a stain or something like that. You can make it look real nice. Um, I chose not to do that. So anyways, you want to go with two by fours and then uh, sheets of plywood. Um, I'd start with one sheet of plywood, get more if you need. I think I was able to do it with one um, eight foot by maybe four or six foot sheet. Um, the desk in total cost me about $300. I should preface the video with that. Um, probably about $200 for the wood, uh, brackets, screws, things like that. Um, this was all done with just, you know, power tools found around the house, a table saw, a drill, um, really that's all you need. And then the plexiglass was about another $100. I used plexiglass instead of glass, but I'll get into that later. So, um, you want to get the wood, you want to do that. Um, then you'll probably want to get, you know, go off of, off of your 3D rendering and uh, you'll see what kind of frame you need. Um, you can kind of see how I did it and, and translate it into how you need to do it, but um, lay everything out and as you're building you'll see you don't need to do a whole lot of like engineering any math really to get this done um, so you'll see that hey I've built this shape that I want my desk to be in but it's a little like loose so where do I need to put support right um, you'll see those kind of things a good way to do that is um, using like wood uh, you'll see I used I think little two by two um, planks of wood 
nice little square pieces that made the corner pieces. Um, you could do it with metal brackets too. They sell those at Home Depot just the same, probably like a less than a dollar a piece. Um, the metal brackets will make a nice uh, bracket in between a corner like that to keep it nice and sturdy. You want your desk to be really sturdy, especially if you're putting a lot of weight on it. I had a lot of weight on mine, even with like, I could stand on my desk with all the components and it was fine, it was perfectly sturdy. Moving on, you'll see that, uh, I should probably just click through the pictures, It'd be easier. So anyways, um, I progressed with the formation of the desk. Um, you'll see towards the top of the desk here, I uh, put a little lip on the outside. You'll want to account for that lip because um, the way I did my desk was I wanted this uh, like old pallet wood rustic uh, look to it underneath the plexiglass. Um, and I needed that to rest on like a layer, a foundation of plywood. Um, instead of just putting, putting the pallet wood as the surface because you know it's old wood and it would break through uh, and like fall apart if I put too much weight on it without support. So I put this nice plywood foundation um, underneath it. Um, and to do that, to make it all flush, I put it like maybe a half inch lip, however thick the uh, plywood was around the edge of the desk. It's real easy to do. Um, just account for it when you're building. That's all I can say. Um, so anyways, you'll move on. And to cut the plywood pieces, uh, just like honestly so easy, lay the plywood on top of the desk. You know, take a few measurements if you have to. But you'll see that's exactly what we did. We just laid the plywood on top and then cut around where we needed to. Moving forward now, you'll see that this is where I started to make the um, kind of foundation for where I'm going to put the uh, little rollout tray that I'm going to use for my keyboard and a mouse. Um, this part that you see now was mounted underneath the desk and then the, the rollers um, were mounted to that. Um, this is just an overall picture, you know, you've got a nice uh, L-shaped ruler there, make sure things are square, you want to use a triangle, level, things like that. Um, Make sure that when you build this, if you're gonna put it all together in your garage or workshop, make sure you can get it into your room. Oh, whole another story with that. But hey, we got it there. So anyways, here you'll see in the picture now that you've got the uh, rollout tray all done, all completed, put on the rollers, it goes in and out. It was real nice, I'm really glad I did that. Um, another picture of it, I've got plywood on both the uh, external sides now. Um, Okay, here you'll see the pallet wood. Uh, I just got pallets from like a buddy that had them at his house. You'll see them all over the place. You can get them in industrial uh, yards, things like that. Anywhere you need, you'll have plenty. Um, and usually they'll just give them for free because they're throwing them out anyways. So I ripped apart the plywood using a crowbar, crowbar and a hammer. Just uh, everyday things. Okay, and then here's how we did the plywood. So we had our desk made, we had the foundation. It was sturdy. Um, but literally all we did was lay the plywood out. You'll see as we do it here, um, how I wanted it. And then we just took like, a jigsaw and just cut in a diagonal line um, and then we had to do that because of the L shape slash elbow shape of my um, desk. If you were doing just a rectangular desk it'd be super easy just lay them out cut and then nail down with nails or screws. Um, I think we use screws, wood screws. Um, so you'll see we're doing that right now we're just taking a table saw, um, hacksaw whatever you want to call it and uh, just cutting off the excess pieces of wood. Real simple. Um, as we're finishing putting the pallet wood here. The reason I went with the plexiglass top is for two reasons, um, which we get to now. So you'll see this giant piece of plexiglass. They get it, give it to you with like um, a white protective coating on top. It's just a piece of paper. It's actually pretty nice because you can draw with a Sharpie where you want to cut, uh, make those measurements. Um, so anyways, um, and we cut it with that white paper on, just so you know, it'll cut through. Um, so I went with plexiglass for two reasons. One, the pallet wood caused the top of my desk to be very uneven. The plexiglass didn't make a huge difference there because it was kind of uneven in itself, not noticeable. Um, but the plexiglass kind of smoothed things out for sure. And then two, lighting. Uh, I was able to put some LED strips that you'll see later behind the um, plexiglass. And then when I turn them on, it it like shines, you know, it's like glass, projects through the plexiglass, which is real cool. Uh, plexiglass um, is easy to replace, it's cheap and uh, it's kind of shatterproof. That's why I want plexiglass instead of glass. It's cheaper too. Um, so here we're cutting the plexiglass real simple. We had to cut it in two pieces because I didn't want to buy enough a big enough, buy a big enough piece of plexiglass uh, to cut it into one piece. It was like an extra 150 bucks or something when I could have just bought two pieces. Um, so I did. So here you'll, see, here you'll see, we finally got the desk into my room. Uh, I measured it all out. Um, I didn't account for putting the pallets on top of the uh, desk before moving it. So when he moved the desk into my room, uh, upstairs from our garage, up, upstairs, had my buddies do it with me. My dad's like, oh, it'll never work. Like, you know, you messed up, whatever. I was like, no, we got this. Um, it was a centimeter too thick to get it um, up my stairs. So we ended up having to take it out and like <laughs> take it apart. And it was such a mess. I was so frustrated. I felt like an idiot. 
Um, but you, you know, you live and learn. Now I'm telling you, and now you know. So just really account for everything. Um, here you'll see I kind of put some of the components on my desk just to see how everything would look. Put my computer, um, a laptop, um, a printer that I have always had on the desk but has never been hooked up. Um, my Razer Naga Epic, my Blue Nessie microphone, um, and the four monitors still in the boxes. So that was pretty cool. Um, so now we've got it with the lights behind the plexiglass. I've put the shelves up. The shelves are custom built too, just more plywood. Um, I wanted them there. I think the desk looked empty without it. And it's a place for all my knickknacks, and I love knickknacks. So uh, I had two computer cutouts, you'll see, one on the right, one on the left. I always anticipated getting a nice, beefier computer, um, and so I made it big enough for a full tower case, whereas the one on my right-hand side where my computer resides now is only a, like, you know, half tower. Um, mid tower, I think is what they call them. It's been a while. So anyways, um, I left it there, and, you know, I was hoping I'd move to a bigger PC. Never did. Um, but I was really happy with the way the uh, LEDs turned out, especially at night, you'll see. Um, here's just a picture of my room as I'm installing it all. It was a mess. The chair there is a lazy boy. Got it off his depot. Funny story how I came across that. Took my best friend Noah shopping with me to find a chair. Sat in every chair at Office Depot. Couldn't find one I liked. And uh, Noah this whole time sat in this, this chair that you see. And uh, it's actually a kind of recliner that rolls. And so he had reclined it. He was cooling. He was, you know, kicking back. And he's like, Sam, why don't you get this chair, dude? And I was like, dude, that is the ugliest chair I've ever seen. I'm not buying that. And uh, he's like, just sit in it, dude. So I finally sat in it. He's like, man, you're watching movies. You can kick back. It was, it convinced me I bought the chair. <laughs> um, I love it, too. It's my favorite chair. Um, so anyways, my room is just a mess. Uh, here's my bed with three of the monitors picked out. Um, you'll see the speaker system that I have there as well, all laid out. Um, and I was just moving things from the bed and out of the packages onto the desk. Uh, here, I used a Netgear um, wireless extender. Not necessary, but... I just figured with all the things that were going to be connected to wireless in my room, it was a good ways away from the um, original router in my house, so I just put an extender, some 80 buck buy, um, and it was a good purchase. Um, here's some more components. You see a Razer uh, mechanical keyboard, two Razer Goliaths mouse pads, um, the LED strips, um, search protectors, wires, things like that. Uh, just basic things you need for a setup this big. Um, I took a break and I upgraded my PC while I was at it. I had had a CyberPower, maybe $500 computer that I had been using. It had a decent graphics card in it. Maybe I think at, back at the time it was a NVIDIA GT520, like real small, maybe like a gig of RAM. Um, DDR2 too, so it was, it was rough. And I think like four gigs, um, maybe eight gigs of just some generic uh, DDR2 or 3 RAM, whatever we had at the time. So I went ahead and upgraded to the Patriot uh, Two sticks of eight gig, um, DDR3 probably at the time, RAM, and then the Sapphire HD Radeon 7850. I had a two gigs of RAM at the time. It was pretty. It was pretty nice. I had an AMD computer, so I figured I'd go with an AMD card. It was cheaper too than Nvidia, as you all know. Um, never had any problems with it, uh, but granted, it's a little outdated now. So, anyways, bought some screwdrivers while I was at it. Uh, always use, try to at least, um, an ESD bracelet. That's what you'll see there. Uh, when you're working with computer stuff, it just keeps things safer. Opened up the computer, um, and here's the graphics card. The old one is right there on the right, and the new one is uh, right behind it. Opened up the computer, swapped out the parts, no big deal. So here you'll see I started putting the monitors, put my CyberPower PC up there. Um, I use Velcro to hold everything down on my desk, so just little sticks of Velcro. Uh, works really well, and it holds everything in place. When things get banged around, you know, you're gaming, something goes wrong, it just <clears throat> uh, holds everything in place. So I love Velcro. It's easy to take on and off. Um, I'd recommend it. It's like you know five dollars for a pack of like twenty. Um, you'll see here, like I said earlier, that I wanted that real rough look and like woodworky look. So there's actually a stain on that. It's just not a very thick um, stain. Uh, it's a very like light coat, um, but it just protects the uh, wood and kind of. Uh, seals everything in so that's why I put this thing there um, you can go with a real dark finish if that's what you're looking for like a lot of the particle board will, particle board will use that you can buy from Office Depot things like that um, I just didn't want a nice uh, I didn't want a dark stain as you'll see all my other furniture is already dark um, here I finished the setup I put that printer that has never been hooked up but why not um, you'll see I have the subwoofer up on one of the shelves uh, my Blue Nessie out, my Xbox 360, all four monitors. Uh, those monitors are, I believe, Dell S2240Ls. Um, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, they're probably outdated by now, but they're really good buys. I got them a couple months prior to building this setup for um, buy one, get one. So I basically got four monitors for the price of two. Um, I think I paid $500 for all four, where it would have been 1000 prior to. Um, I really like these uh, 
monitors because they were bezel-less. Um, and so they fit real nice in that, in that three um, monitor setup. Uh, fit together really nicely and they had that, that nice glass uh, screen on them and so since you can see the window there is facing on um, the back of the computer I was able to uh, use the glass screen and never had a glare uh, if you're gonna have a window shining in towards the glass surface of your monitors you'll want to like be aware that there's gonna be a glare um, I think they make like protective sheets for your monitors for that anti-glare sheets um, but I didn't have to do that and so the glass was definitely a good buy it's a real nice pretty picture too um, moving forward, here's just another angle of the completed setup. Um, all right, here's where we kind of get into the meat potatoes. Uh, here's the speaker system. I put the little amplifier box right there with the sub controls, volume control right there in front of me. Um, that's pretty much where it stayed. I have my Naga, uh, Epic charging dock right there, the two speakers behind the monitors, and my Blue Nessie. I would not recommend the Blue Nessie microphone, <laughs> but hey, I bought it. Um, Moving forward, this is a little bit later in the evolution of my setup, but I thought I threw it in there. It was the only picture I had on my keyboard. I started with a Razer Mechanical Black Widow. Um, I eventually sold that uh, because it just took up so much space. I still had room for the whole uh, keyboard and the mouse, but it was just more cramped. So I went with a smaller half-size keyboard, the Corsair. Um, I loved the Corsair. It was a real nice keyboard. Um, I was never really a fan of the mechanical switches, though. never got used to them. Um, I think it's come a long way, and I think I would go back to mechanical now. Um, but I love this keyboard as well. I loved it both. Um, it was just kind of smaller. That's why I went with this one. Um, okay, here's where you'll see the LEDs kind of at a nighttime setting. Um, really shown, really beautiful. Uh, came out looking real nice. Um, that's without anything on it. Another thing about plexiglass, fingerprints, just like glass. Um, and it really shows, but that's okay. It's a Windex. That's a Windex problem. Um, just pictures of the setup here at night. Um, I really liked it, man. It was pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, I started with these blue LEDs, just some $5 Amazon purchases, hooked them all up into an external uh, USB bus plugged into my computer with on and off switches. Um, those worked well for a while. I got tired of the blue, um, and so I ended up going with uh, just like a you know million color LED strip uh, that was about probably 20, 10, 20 feet long and wrapped around the outside of the desk um, and replaced the blue LEDs. Um, had a remote. It was a little bit nicer. Um, as you'll see in a later um, picture of the setup, a couple months down the road, I could change the colors. And I ended up going with green for Razer. Um, but the blue is nice to start with. So here's another picture you'll see. I was representing the Mustang. I love my Mustang. Um, in the background there, the three setup was so, three monitor setup was so nice. Um, and then I had my Xbox for the longest time on the same level. Um, here you can see there's a little shelf. Um, one side of my desk under my PC had a nice little shelf with more pallet wood just for anything I wanted to store. The other side, you'll see I left open. That's because I put a mini fridge there uh, years later. <laughs> but I had to have the mini fridge. So uh, here's another setup, like I said, repping the Mustang um, and then the Xbox 360. This was before Xbox One. This is an old video, guys. <laughs> um, okay, here's Battlefield 3 spread across all screens. It was an awesome setup, loved it. Um, Handled it really well. The uh, 7850 really did. Here's Minecraft. Uh, just, you know, examples. Here are four of my knickknacks. I love mugs. Coffee mugs are my favorite things. And I love World of Warcraft. I'm awful at the game. Just go watch some of my prior gameplays or don't and save yourself some uh, some time. I love World of Warcraft. Love knickknacks. So I bought these um, really intense mugs. And I uh, still have them. Still drink out of them every time I'm home. Um, but just, hey, some of the knickknacks. You'll see a lot. I have a lot of knickknacks up there. Um, so this is like the height of my uh, setup. I had these three monitors here with the you know new LEDs so I could switch the colors and I had it on green at this point for um, Razer and you'll see the uh, Razer Black Widow there on the uh, keyboard and mouse tray. This is back when I still had the Razer. Um, you'll see that I moved the Xbox monitor up to the screen, um, up to the shelf and that was so that I could uh, play while still being at my computer. Another thing is I moved to this trend where I stood up to play video games. So uh, this is why that's there. Um, I think I moved it back down eventually. Um, it's okay, it's your preference. That's why I put the shelves, you can move them around. Um, you'll, you'll see that I loaded it out a little bit more. I've got more knickknacks. I've got these Swamp Pop bottles. It's a thing from Louisiana. It's soda made with uh, sugar cane. I've got um, a 1965 Cobra model um, car. I've got my computer, the, you know, all the boxes. I've got my nice West Point flag when I was aspiring to gain an appointment here. Um, but, you know, making it a little bit more homey, right? Here's another picture. I have a DQ uh, card. Um, don't know how that ended up there. Um, 
some trophies, I think, a lacrosse ball, you know, just little things. My Turtle Beach headsets, love Turtle Beaches. I've owned so many pairs of Turtle Beaches. I pretty much buy the new wireless set anytime they come out with one. Haven't in a while because I don't really game up here, but I will when I get out. Um, so anyways, moving on. Uh, and I used an Elgato to capture, if anyone's curious, an Elgato, Elgato HD. Um, so here is pretty much where my setup ended. So once I got um, into West Point, I, I knew that I wouldn't have need for such an extravagant setup, so I sold two of the monitors, um, kept two, one for an Xbox, one for my computer, sold my Xbox One. Um, somehow that picture didn't make it into this video, but my Xbox One unboxing, there's a link to that now on the screen, um, the Advanced Warfare Edition. Um, I now play PS4, I've moved over, but hey, you know, I like them both. I love Xbox for Forza, so I might even buy an Xbox One sometime soon, just for Forza. Um, anyways, uh, I moved to this system here, it was just a little bit more uh, manageable. I ended up actually selling another screen, you'll see that at the very end. Um, but all that material was just going to kind of decrease in value while I was at school here for the next four years. So uh, I made a big change, sad to see it go. Right before I left, I upgraded my case. I've been wanting to do this for years. I like the Cyber Power case, but it um, was just a little much, and uh, I didn't like the cooling on it, and I didn't like the red anymore. So I moved to this case here. Um, it's much cleaner, much nicer. You'll see, much nicer. You'll see the uh, link in the description. I, I was really uh, happy with it. Still am. It's a nice, clean, blue, kind of white frost look. Um, and then here's my final setup here. You'll see my uh, West Point appointment in the background. More knickknacks, more room for knickknacks is the way I like to put it. Um, sold a lot of things, unfortunately. Um, but you'll see the way I have it set up is I only have one monitor now. I just switch in between my uh, Xbox or PS4 um, input and my computer input. Um, for the keyboard, I'm just using a generic keyboard and my kept my Naga. Um, sad to see it all go, but it's just much more manageable and um, you know was able to salvage some of the money I put into this setup. Going on to the future, um, I'm looking to build another desk. I'll probably leave this one at my parents' house. Um, I'll build another desk, and uh, hopefully that one will be kind of a PC in desk, and I'll come out with another video for that. But uh, this was totally a do-it-yourself thing. Um, I did it in my garage with my father. Um, put it all together in about a weekend with just standard hardware. You could do it with a drill. You could probably do it with a screwdriver. It would just take some real, real nice forearm <laughs> exercises, you know. Um, you could do it with uh, a drill, a table saw, a hacksaw, a jigsaw, whatever you got. Um, hand saw um, might take a little longer. Um, or Home Depot and Lowe's, they'll cut everything you need for you know a price, but it's usually maybe a dollar a cut. Um, it's pretty cheap, um, so you really could do all this yourself. Uh, like I said, spent about three hundred dollars on the entire desk itself: wood, stain, um, plexiglass. Pallets were free. Um, and that's how much a desk this size or smaller would cost at Office Depot or Best Buy or wherever you're going to buy a desk, Walmart, Ikea. Um, and to me, it's just not the same quality. That particle board bends, bows, breaks with so much um, weight or just over time. Um, so I went with the plywood and the 2x4s and it's sturdy as a rock. I uh, definitely recommend. But I, this is it, guys. I hope you like the set of video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll definitely respond to them. Um, Maybe within the next couple semesters, I'll come up with more videos. I'm bringing the PS4 up here next semester, um, and we'll see what I can do as far as PC gaming. But uh, maybe we'll start some things. My, my roommate is loving CSGO. He's kind of, that's his thing, so maybe we'll get some videos of that. He's pretty good. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. This has been Stylus there with the um, first video in almost two, uh, two years. So uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day, and uh, have a good Thanksgiving. Bye, guys.